What is up guys and welcome back to another Tekka tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll be going over to make an MFSU. However, I'll be doing the video a little bit different today. Um, when I take a pause here in a short second, I'm actually going to put the items that we're going to need to make the MFSU, all of the items to make the MFSU on the screen. That way you guys can pause the video at that point. I'm going to try to eliminate where I usually tell you guys to pause the video and take note of the stuff over in the left hand corner. However, I am going to put the stuff in the left hand corner and you guys can just use the crafting grid as a reference to craft the items we're going to need for the video. Anyways, after this short pause, the items will pop up on the screen and we'll get ready to get moving. Alright, so we're back now. We got all the materials we're going to need to make electric circuits. Don't forget the crafting grid will still be over here in the left hand corner if you're unclear on how to make electric circuits. Once you have them, place them in the crafting grid like so. We're actually going to need to make 13 circuits. Take me a little bit more time today. Apologize. 12, 14, we need to put one there. Okay. Now that we have that, just split that like that. And there's our 13 electronic circuits. I'm going to get the materials together for the next item we're going to make. Alright, so I'm back now. I've got the materials we're going to need. Again, you may want to reference the crafting grid over here. We're going to make a advanced electric circuit. We do that by placing our items in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us an advanced circuit. I should note that we did use one of the 13 circuits that we originally crafted to make this advanced circuit. Alright, so next up we're going to build energy crystals, they're called. Again, if you need to, reference the crafting grid over here on how to make them. Once you have the items, you'll just place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us 10 energy crystals. I'll get the materials together and I'll be right back for the next item. Alright, so I'm back now with the materials we're going to need. Next up, we're going to need to make Latron crystals. Again, you may want to reference the crafting grid over here in the left-hand corner. Once you have them, we'll place them in the crafting grid like so. And we're actually going to need six Latron crystals. So this is going to take a little bit of time. We'll just continue the process. Whoops. I don't know why my mouse wants to keep picking that up. There's number two. Try to speed the process up by putting these in here. Let me just put our electric circuits. And here we go. A little bit faster this way. Alright, I'll take a quick pause now that we got the electron crystals and I'll be back with the material we need to make the next item. Alright, so I'm back now with the materials we're going to need next. Next we need to make an MFE unit. Do that by placing the items in the crafting grid like so. You may want to reference the crafting grid over there in the left hand corner if you're unsure on how to make this. And as you can see that gives, a, gives us our MFE. Alright, so I'm back now with the materials. Last but not least we're going to need to make an advanced machine block. To do that, first we're going to need to make mixed, mixed ingots. We do that by placing refined iron in the top row, bronze in the second row, and tin in the third row. And as you can see, that gives us two mixed metal ingots. Next, we're going to need to make raw carbon mesh. We do that by placing coal dust in the crafting grid like so, which will give us raw carbon fibers. And once we get the raw carbon fibers out, we would then place them in the crafting grid like this, which will give us our raw carbon mesh. Now that we have that ready, we're going to run down here, and we need to stick this into our compressor. And this will give us alloy, or advanced alloy, I apologize. And now when we stick the raw carbon mesh in, it will give us carbon plates. Now that we have those, we're ready to make the advanced machine block. Run back over here to our crafting grid. You can reference the grid over here if you're unclear on how to make it. Once you have it, just place it in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us our advanced machine block. I'll be right back with the materials to make the actual MFSU. Oh, something I forgot to mention and I failed to build. We're actually going to need to make a, a MV transformer. The reason for this is so that because we're going to have our medium voltage and our low voltage feeding into the MFSU. However, even though they're low in medium voltage, they'll be feeding into the MFSU, which puts out more EU per tick. And if you attempt to feed it into the MFE or directly into the machines, you're going to cause the machines to explode. Um, if you didn't catch how to make it, 
simply put a machine block in the middle and one two times golden silver cable on top and one below. All right, so without further ado, we're ready to make our MFSU. You can again reference the crafting grid over here in the left hand corner if you need to. Once you have the items, we'll place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us our MFSU. Now we'll run over here real quick and hook this up. Uh, assuming that I have some more wire, that is. Yes, I do. Okay. Run down here real quick. First and foremost, we're going to want to sever the connection there. Um, as you can see, our machines are not whining because they don't have any power. So we'll go ahead and turn them off. Let that finish its course. No big deal. Next, we're going to want to pick up this MFE in here. Again, if you have the electric wrench, you're going to want to hit Shift. While holding Shift and pressing M, right-click so that we go into lossless wrench mode. That way, this doesn't accidentally get destroyed. And we can pick it up. Now that we have that, we're going to want to place our MFSU like so. And that should now be gaining power, as you can see. And it has a lot more storage, 10 million EU it can hold. Next up, what you're going to want to do is make sure to place this MV transformer like this. So that when you place your wire, the power from the MFSU is feeding into the three-prong side of the MV transformer. Once you have that, simply do like that. Next, if we want to connect an additional storage unit, since we have the MFE, we can go ahead and hop up here and we can simply connect it by doing that and now just reconnecting our machines and everything again should have power this should now be getting power as you can see it's slowly filling up which means this is no longer filling once this machine fills this one then again will begin to fill um, that really wraps the video up guys um, if you have any questions comments or concerns feel free to leave them below I know I kind of stuttered and didn't do as well of a job at explaining this so feel free if you guys have any questions comments concerns feel free to leave them below like i said that's all i got this has been too cold and i'm out peace